suppose you don't want your uh, tables in a default schema like user you want you have your own schema like let us go and uh, look at the Java perspective we can have our own schema in the hibernate.cfg.xml you just have to make a single entry here you can also use annotations to define your schema but I prefer to since usually I'm going to use one schema I'm going to like you know just put it right here in the configuration file over here you can say something called as property name property name and in this property name the property that we need is called hibernate dot default underscore schema hibernate dot default underscore schema default underscore schema and here we can give a schema name like say test schema like some schema test schema hibernate dot default schema and save this let us go to our database development perspective and in this hype connection like let us create this uh, schema first let us go click on this hibernate db and you see this button here open scrapebook or scrapbook and once you click on database and you click on open scrapbook make sure this is hybrid derby 10.x and hibernate connection and hibernate db it is our database and here you can create the schema with create schema we call the schema name test schema we don't have to worry about the syntax because database takes everything in uppercase we can select it and then say execute selected text or execute all since we have only one statement it's a successfully created schema so we have a schema here we can refresh this right click and then click on refresh you should be able to see the schema or press F5 yeah we see the test schema now let us go to the test employee and run this again now what's it going to do is uh, the schema export config create true true it's going to print the log file and create the table once again but since our property file now has this default schema it's going to create a table in that particular schema so right click run as java application See create table you can see that here in create table it says like create test schema dot employee and that's what it's done so if you go now and refresh this particular schema you should see under tables it has created the employee so here afterwards we will use this test schema itself right click data sample contents and you are able to see the employee ID and employee name very good